I am changing how the intro of this video is starting. This is the busiest bag shop breakfast meet you will ever see. We have way over 100 cars. This is going to be insane. Let us start this video off though with Mr. Dan Graham. Hi Max, how are you? I am good. Uh, it's busy mate. Oh, it is busy. It's extremely busy. Now, if you're not at this meet, I don't know where you are, but you should be at this meet, but there's not a lot of room left. There is not. Let's have a look around. This is the busiest I've ever seen here. Yeah, let's have a look. It's mad. Max, enjoy it. See you around. We shall. Catch you in a bit. Bye-bye. So, back shot is a busy shot. But today, we have it. Bottom end is full. It has gone all the way up. We're walking out the entrance, but it's still backing up. It is full today. I think it's probably going to be the best turnout we've probably ever had at a bag shop breakfast week. This is incredible. It's probably as busy as I've seen it. So, let us have a look down here and see what we got because this is just unbelievable turnout. Check out the quality just on the entrance way here. Real busy, busy day. Got Darren here on the photos. Yeah, this is going to be a very good day. So it's literally just gone nine o'clock and we already have the roundabout in the center here completely filled up you can't really get much better than this i was through the car straight over there in the corner but yeah i knew i wasn't gonna get down to the main so sexy so it's too full to go as you can see they're all still rolling in. So let us now, as we have Welcome Aerial Photography there, doing his drone work, let us head down into the main show area and see what we have. Because I think we're going to have pretty much one of every. So today is a perfect example of why we say this meet is a pre-80s classic meet. Because you can see we're having issues with space. If we had a load of modern cars turn up, we would completely run out of space, even though we already have with classics. Yeah, this is why we try and keep it now limited to pre 80 stuff because it's just too big now. Way too big of a meat. Not a bad thing. Just gotta keep an eye on the numbers. Morning. So we have the main man himself's car here. Yeah, he is going to be on his toes all day today trying to sort all this out. Busy, busy morning. Packed everywhere. As far as you can see. And check this out. First day of nice weather, everyone's side of the Which is always a good thing. Bush line. No, I was just a, where, come here. Straight here. So where have you been then? On my way. On your way? 
you like? Very. This is what I've got to put up with. I come to the show and get told I'm late. Well, there you go. Right, I'm going to keep moving around. Yeah, you Check can go around. ABC See you later. Custom Images. Ta -da. Check it out. APC Custom Images. Run it, run, all run. sorts. So keep an eye out for that as well. Exactly. Definitely. As we have... Hot rods for family. This could be a busy day. Even more coming in. Yeah, I think this is going to be the bag shot that completely, properly runs out of space. This is the busiest I've ever seen it. I can't say we're going to be beating this anytime soon. This is just crazy. This Ford Cobra here. I'm not entirely sure on these ones. Yeah. I haven't seen it out before. Yeah. I guess 71. <laughs> yeah, good, no worries. <laughs> yeah, right. So, as you can tell, it's just incredible turnout. Not seen a back shot like this for. A oh, while well, shot's always busy, but today's just something else. I got out of the car, straight onto the uh, walk around here, just to get all this in. And here's one I haven't managed to have a good look at. We saw it briefly the other day. So this has not been out for a long time as far as I know. But we have got the interceptor, the last of the V8s. How cool is that? So I can still hear them turning up. This is incredible today. Busiest I've seen it in a long time. Oh, this is it. I mean. We've used every bit of the car park we possibly can, and it's still packed out down there. So let us now do this bottom row, I guess, here, and then we'll work our way back up through all of this. <laughs> so this today has just been best back shot we've probably had maybe ever this has been insane let me go up here and i'll give you an overview of everything just on the walk around it crazy as anything so let us keep going around here and you'll see what i mean just busy busy day So the meat 
it starts at nine. I started filming at five past nine. Yeah. Don't really know what to say. This has just been unbelievable turnout. And we've come to the Barracuda here, which is for sale. If you're in the market for a Barracuda, this one, very reliable, been out to loads of shows, is mint, it's lovely. I'll show you the details on this one because this is very nice. If you're in the market for one, definitely have a look. Pause it there if you want to read. No worries, mate. What's that? No. Okay, yeah, brilliant. Thank you. And so I've just been given some of Nils' brandy here. Let me go get his truck in. He's show you underneath this thing. Underneath this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, like I said, bag shop brings out the best of the best. <laughs> so, working on aerial photography has had their drone up the whole time. So make sure to check out their stuff. I'll probably get my drone up at some point in a minute. But I'm just starting on the walk around because, well, I'm going to start on the walk around now because if I don't, oh, well, it's not going to get done. And so let's do a free shout out here for Skidlids Custom Paint. They do loads of paint work, so check them out if you want airbrushing paint work, all that sort of stuff. And let us head round here now into the next row. <laughs> we have another one also for sale. Maybe I'll get close to 30 round town, but it's doing 20 miles going around town. It's on 32, we're going to go away. 32 miles. On my left here, we have one I've never seen out before, so I'll get that in in a minute. And this truck here, at one point, did look sort of like that. It was a very nice, very nice shade of blue. Now going for that patina look. Let's have a proper look around this because this was, you have to go from a channel and have a look through, but this was originally basically blue like this. <laughs> But this by far has got to be the busiest breakfast mate you've probably ever seen. This is just incredible turnout. Always a good time at the bag shop, but today's just blown out of the water for what we've had before. As you can tell, it's just I can't even put words for this. It's unbelievable. If you're a petrol head into old cars and you've never done the breakfast meat before, well, you can see what is here. I'm gonna have a very fun time trying to tag everyone in this video later. I have a feeling this is gonna be about Ooh, probably 80 tags or something gonna be very busy and here's the one I've never seen out before the panther pink Ford pop 
Let's have a look on the back. Is there anything on the back? No, but never seen it out before. Yeah, cool. And another one, I don't know if I've seen this out before either. Yeah, not bad, you? And so, Daniel is out here today. Two of his cars are out. One of, uh, or two of five, is it, I think? Yeah. Just very cool. So, I think I've done everything down here. Let us continue to move around. We still have them turning up. Just busy, busy day. And we've got the Chevy Bel Air here. This is just stunning as well. All of them are today. It's, it's been incredible, but yeah, there's just endless, endless nice motors there. And check out probably, I'm assuming this is probably the biggest one here. Or longest car anyway. Was on uh, Classic American. Yeah, this is just huge. Keep moving around as this is just morning. How you doing? Good. Good. Busy, isn't it? This is just crazy. As we've been walking around the whole time and we still have cars pulling yeah, yeah. in. It's been so long since we've been so as a busy, busy day, incredible cars, they're going to keep moving around here as we have even more turning up. And so I've just been given a part for the car. Mopar's now going to be running even better. It's a little bit of tubing basically I've got on the car that needs capping off. Let me chuck this in my pocket. So let's keep moving around here. As we still have them turning up, the busiest I've ever seen in a bad shop. Right, yeah, not bad, mate, yeah? You've got a lot of work to do, you? Oh, no, tell me about it. So, we've finally done what I'd say is main show field area. Let us move up now to, well, everything else. Eleven o'clock now, guys. Thank you, everybody. Turn it up here. Just unbelievable turnout. I think 
think I did the road in front there. If not, a while ago, I'll come back to that road. And we do have my car to show now. We do have a Superbird out just to finish off the thing. So as far as I'm now concerned, the meat is now complete. We've got and the metal flex steering wheel. Got to love it. Yeah. Very nice Mustang here. Gets out to a lot of the meets. Instagram tag there. Catching up with more people now today. Just incredibly busy this meet. I'm just going to weave in and out now. It's just. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant meet. After. So, yeah. I don't really know what else to say. Let me have a quick check on it. We've got an interceptor down there. We've got Socks and Martin Superload here. We've probably got many more very extremely rare cars I haven't noticed or I've forgotten. I am very tired today. But I'll always be up and ready for back shot. I don't normally miss meets, but I think today would have been one of them days that I could have half given a bit of Busiest I've ever seen it down here. And the thing is, a bag shot. This is an active golf club, golf course, whatever you want to say. So we have got a lot of uh, golf parking here as well. So let me weave through it now and see if we can find anything else that's parked up anywhere. seen this lot coming in, like I said, it's been that busy. That was the best bag shot I've ever seen. I have a feeling this may change up a little bit how this meat is um, not run, but a lot of people got here very early. I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with that, but this meat does start at 9. And I know Mark organising it does prefer people to get here from nine onwards, mainly because it's even earlier for him. Otherwise, more more work. See, this could be. Craziest bag shot ever seen. This Maverick here, I don't think I've, I've, uh, I don't think I've ever seen this out before. We've got a lot of first time bag shot cars and quite a few cars I haven't actually seen out before. And one we haven't seen out for quite a while. It's just busy as anything. Got to be. Well, this is by far the busiest bag shot ever. Got to be. 
Spin this camera around. <laughs> so I've now just filmed the intro to this video as I sort of messed it up originally. But let us do the final, well, it's not even the final, it's probably another 40 cars still. It's unbelievable turnout. And I think I found the first row there isn't any cars in. So let's go up here, weave our way through. Crazy, there's gonna be even more parked up here. And there's this very nice Cobra here. I don't know if I've seen this one. I like it a lot though, it's very nice. And I've now got myself trapped behind these wall or you know, barrier thing. So I now have to work a way out to get down. Oh, do you know what? We'll just go this way. So we've even had them parking outside now. Apparently there's also two golf tournaments on here today as well. So it doesn't particularly help with numbers. Like, busy, busy day. <laughs> Well, yeah, but that, back, that back wall where he's got to put the lead on, that should be cold. Yeah, yeah. That's true. I think we have even more parked out around here. But I have walked up this end of, of the car park before, mainly just to film one or two cars. I've never seen them parked like this. This is by far busiest breakfast meet we've ever had way over 100 cars bag shots always good but this is just well this is what bag shot is with this very flat sort of car I don't know what this is Looking Fiesta here. A Fiesta is now a modern car that I do know. So, yeah, Fiesta. They also scare Mopars. The uh, Superbird doors here, it didn't want to start the other day at an illusion meet. And this is a good little funny story, you'll see it in the video when I put the video up. We threatened to jump start it with a Fiesta. As soon as the Fiesta gets close to it, with a broken alternator and blown fuses, it started. Our conclusion was the fear of a Superbird being jump started by a Fiesta caused it to somehow start. Oh, 
payload. So the phone's got less than 5% battery. So I have a feeling this is going to cut out very soon. Gimbal flashing away. Gimbal's about to die from that battery as well. So I'm going to have to quickly finish up here. Get the last cars in. Got a matching fire extinguisher there. Tony around, didn't know where his Cobra was, we've seen this one and the black one in there. I have a feeling we might have even more classics going down the road. Let me cross here, it's the first time I've ever actually properly started walking around outside bag shop, like it's, that's how busy this is today. Let's try and not get squashed here. Right, we are safe to cross. So, yeah, this is how busy it is today. I have a feeling this may change how this piece will run slightly after this. Saying that, we don't always get it this busy. This is, this is sort of a one-off phenomenal turnout. I mean, it's always got the uh, ability to do this back shot, but, you know, I ain't gonna do this every single month. I'll do something similar, but I don't think we're gonna have this same. Mega, mega pop. Let me get across here. So yeah, this is the only time you'll see me filming on the entrance or on the gate because you're not, not really meant to. Because the problem is it encourages people to do interesting things. Let's put it that way. And we have a very good relationship with the venue here, and we don't want to jeopardise that in any way. So we just stop people from filming on the exit, stops any wheel spins or anything. 